Good evening brothers, how are you? This is Paul, your rainbow guide, your rainbow dreamer, your rainbow lover, your rainbow host. Just wanted to uh, have part two finished today because we want to get this contest going on. How to get a ring back on one of these fingers anyway. I don't quite know if it's the right or the left hand, um, but uh, that's immaterial in my heart. No, the the ring is there, but I would like to get something that, that shows Brad that we're officially uh, never better and uh, 21 years and strong and yeah, gold helps there too. So now you guys, I want you to um, to prepare for that particular issue and we're going to do that in a little bit. I want to first get to one issue that I have to deal with right now. Uh, I was very surprised when it happened. I'm not so surprised upon thinking about this for a few hours and now a day or two. And let me go backwards here. Um, I got a letter from Uncle Google, and he said to me that one of my my videos is going to be. Uh, taken off, was taken off uh, over the weekend, and uh, the reason it was is that I, to them, didn't adhere to community standards, and it wasn't, it wasn't because of verbal diarrhea <laughs> or just a lot of guttural f f words or expletives. It was something that I quite thought was very beautifully done. Uh, it was basically my slideshow of, of um, male models clad minimally and uh, there were probably a couple that were questionable there. But this was one of my videos that's been on the um, on the uh, YouTube since January, early January. And I, it had a fairly high amount of viewership. I think it was somewhere around 6,000 views it got, um, which was enough, I suppose, for you know, Yellow Flag to, to eventually come up. I didn't expect it, and I was a little bit surprised that, uh, that it did occur. However, like I said, looking back, I can see the point of YouTube and I can see that I was trying to push an area that maybe uh, if not visually done you can get away with it although in my opinion I think graphically some of some of the stuff that's that's done by my gay brothers on YouTube as as their fun stuff with uh, you know, waving the rainbow flag, in essence, to me, is a little, you know, it's a little tenuous in my own estimation as being flagrantly gay and a little, a little bit in bad taste. Um, but again, that's what, that's, you know, that's what sells. And I don't think that light-hearted gay interaction is is as uh, meaningfully graphic to the censors as was my my slideshow and I think and also the although I you know I hear it go again with it with the words I have to say ha, ha, oh, our our models will 
we'll get you off, you know, and I, it was, you know, when I had to think about it, I said, Paul, you really made a bad choice in words there, I'm surprised at you, I was surprised at me. Anyway, I, I pulled, they said they were just going to take it off for three weeks and I could appeal it. I didn't think that was a necessity because, quite frankly, it's not where I'm going with, with living happily gay. I mean, this is basically a lifestyle viewpoint from somebody who's been in a gay relationship for a good long time, but it's, but it's more dealing with the, the variabilities and the good fortunes or, or, or um, foibles of living in a, in a country that's going through an amazing amount of changes now and having seen that country change for these 50 some odd years. And I guess that's kind of more valuable to me than proving a point and editorializing what I want to show. I mean, at the time, I was kind of hungry for, for views. And the formatting that I did with this particular piece, which I think ran about 14 minutes, was very, it was, I said this was my Christmas gift to you guys for supporting us, and, and I thought it was done, you know, very tastefully. You, you guys might have, have already put it on your, uh, on your private list of view, viewing uh, 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 videos, but at any rate, I think it's okay, you know, and like I say, I, I got my shock, and I need, I need YouTube to like I, I love that you like us, but I, I need you two to feel similarly because this is something that uh, we're just starting to see some, some solid basis for, for uh, the gay community and, and the community of the world at large and it's been turning, turning us on for the realm of what we do on this Living Happily Gay. So therefore, I pulled it and then I, and, um, I said, eh, this is not going to have much of an impact. Not realizing that it didn't have much impact on, on subscriptions, because at the time I was getting a lot of views and not so many subscriptions. But it, it just hit me on both days, yesterday and today, on, on views. And <laughs> I just took a nosedive. But you know what? It's okay because the the game here isn't just views. It it, it, it it's it's uh, subscriptions, and that's where I was weak when we first started. Because you guys didn't find me, and you didn't even know me. If, if you did find me, you didn't know what what Paul was all about or anything like that. And now when now Brad and I are brought brought together, and as we interact into this particular venue, it's 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 becoming more fun. It's kind of like a I don't know. A little more sitcom, but uh, but reality. Life is life is pretty funny, and it really is. And if you if you can get through as we have over these last two decades, uh, you must be doing something right. And I think we are. So uh, you know that's what I'm hoping that you guys are are seeing and gravitating to us because of that. Yeah, and I'm I, I'm a gardener, and I'm a registered uh, certified horticulturist, and I'm a botanist, and I'm a dendrologist, and I could be doing what everyone uh, uh, is trending towards enjoying now, which would be also some, looking at some of the tropical gardening sites, and and then, quite frankly, that's what I was going to do when I first created this uh, concept. It was going to be the wise gardener. That's what my website is which is tropical gardening and, and lifestyle, basically gay-oriented and subtly, if not so subtly, uh, a, a gay uh, website, it's, which has been in existence since uh, 2000 and really has been a steady, stalwart um, authority on tropical plants for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of wanted that to go with sort of me in, in the flash drive on the front page and then you could just have me in a, in a little screen there. Still might do that on the Wise Gardener. But at this point in time, you know, I, I, just, I just liked the opportunity that I had here. And uh, I still do, but, but like I say, I need Google and I need YouTube to like me. I apologize to the censors for not being seriously mindful of any potential for retribution or possible elimination 
from being on the air and I'm very sorry to them uh, for that poor judgment. To you guys that, that like what I do, I think you might understand that one might be willing to want to try something different in the beginning. Um, and you know, I had a lot of I had a lot of ground to make up with zero subscriptions uh, to you know to where we are now, about three thousand, which has taken a while, and it will take a while. Um, you know, I have I had to do what I thought was right today and pull the plug on this particular video. And I apologize, like I said again, to Google and YouTube censors anyone who thought I was in bad taste. I can see your point. You know, I liked it, I know that I wanted to be likable for the community of the world. And at this point in time, I think things are going well enough with what we're developing that between the two of us and uh, what the future might hold for this in the long term. So thank you very much, guys. We love you. We want you to um, continue to enjoy your, your uh, getting to know us here at living uh, happily gay and uh, we'll be seeing you real soon thank you very much and have a real real good day bye bye ah.